what up YouTube hey just wanted to give you the results of the tie-dye stuff came out pretty good <clears throat> we did probably 30 outfits maybe or 30 pieces of clothing here's the first one it's Mrs. Cash she got a pair of shorts and tank top here it's kind of hard to hold up that's the first one that's a matching set and over here is a pair of what are leggings these? leggings and a camisole camisole top which actually i think i had to repair one of them yeah because it ripped because we used too much dye uh, yeah so that one matches and this these is here. from walmart all this <laughs> yeah all from walmart there's a box if you guys are interested and again i know this is a little different from our normal thing of scratching tickets but it was just something that we got into one day. We were kind of bored and Mrs. Cash wanted to do some tie dye and she's got some pretty cool designs too. If anybody this is, is the first time I've ever owned anything tie dye in my life. Now this is tie dye. The next one we're gonna show you is a bleach dye. You can leave them right on there and just go right on top of it. This is a- uh, You guys saw this one in the last video. This is the finished product. This was the gray shirt. Yeah. That's a bleach dye. Super cool bleach. Just, can you hold the back of it? Yeah, there you go, just by the hanger. The bleach just eats the color right out of it. And, and I layered this one. So I did, I put the bleach on, let it sit out in the sun for a little you while. You ribbed this one, right? Pardon me? Ribbed it. Remember, I think I said you were ribbing it. Like no, this one was bunched. Up. This one oh, was bunched. just bunched. Got you. But what I did was I let some of it die more in the sun. Yeah. And then I took it away and then I sprayed more and it made those different colors in it. Almost looks like a camouflage shirt. Yeah, almost. Sweet, turned out fantastic. That's the back. All kind of little designs on it, super cool. All right, <laughs> what's the next one? These oh, are just old sweatpants I had. This turned out great. Now, granted, we tried to keep as much red away from the crotch as we could. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you know, if naturally, whatever way we folded it, we ended up getting, but it's not red. It's like a purple. Yeah, because the, the original pants were pink and this was purple and pink. So I wanted to stick with the color it already had. Right. And they were white What's to the begin with. Like? Oh yeah, they turned out good actually. Yeah, I like these. These are like some of my favorite sweatpants. Those but they were old. like the pink camouflage too that they do. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Cash did this one. He likes blue. Yeah, this was a tie-dye one I did. It turned out great. This was from Walmart as well. Flip that over. Let's see the back of it. It turned out really nice. Yeah. What's weird is we're wearing like tie-dye stuff every day. I know our neighbors think we're wearing the same outfit every day. <laughs> but this we... was the... Oh, go ahead, no, no, good. This was the sweatshirt you guys saw yesterday that took like six hours to bleach out. Now, this stuff has already been washed and dried and everything. It just turned out really I might really do cool. this one a little bit more though to see if I can get some colors. I like it. I like it too. <laughs> and the thing and this is, was from Goodwill. Yeah. The thing is, we took old clothes and what were you saying we did with them? We um, repurposed we them. We repurposed them. So, you know, instead of buying all new clothes and wasting everything and throwing out the old stuff we just kind of repurposed it and made all new stuff this all was right. our first tie-dye experience yeah this one here this was what a, uh, just a plain tank top this is from walmart too <clears throat> i like it hold on turn it right turn it around the back it looks like an ice cream cone in the middle yeah that's right here yeah <laughs> it looks like an ice cream cone oh that's too cool this turned out really good here. This was yesterday. This next one. Now this is dyed. Or That's bleached. bleached. Oh, and this was from Goodwill. And it's Banana Republic. Yeah. I see what I want to see. <laughs> Let's see the back of it. Now this this is cool because <clears throat> that looks like an owl. Looks like a frog with a hat on. Yeah. Oh, it does look like an owl. You're right. Either or, honestly. I see it now, finally. It's all in your interpretation. Yeah. It's I like see what clouds. I want to see. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Get it? Yeah, I do now. 
this is where we learn to incorporate black and Mr. Cash always wears white t-shirts under his clothes. So we just took some of his old t-shirts. Yeah, you can really, like you can interpret anything you want on these. These are right. really cool. And these are just regular Walmart t-shirts. Flip it around. This one's still a little damp at the top. Is it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was washed. You know? Yeah, they, they, everything was washed. That well, I'm just cool. saying it's still a little damp. I like it. This one here is real cool, too. I like this one because it <laughs> looks like there's a flower yeah. on the front. Oh, that's right. That's that one. Once yeah. again, just old white t-shirt. Look, there was still... This is definitely a repurposed from when we were painting. Yeah. <laughs> and again, before it was tie-dyed, that little bit of paint. Oh, show them where the, the uh, rocket is. Right there. That looks like a rocket right there. Well, that's the flower on the other side. Right. But it looks like fire shooting out of a rocket. And that looks like an iris. Yeah. And this looks like a dog's face. Look. Yeah. See the eyes? Yeah. The nose. The mouth. So weird. Come on. Once again, I see what I want to see. Well, I mean, the thing about it is they were just plain white t-shirts and believe it or not, without the tie-dye on it, they, um, oh, you could see them little speckles of white paint. Now they look like completely different shirts. Well, they are completely different shirts. You guys saw this one yesterday as this we were making it. One. And this is bleach dye right here. Yeah. And this was just a regular white shirt from, uh, no, it was a red. Oh, red. I'm red sorry. Shirt from Walmart, like a $3.99 shirt. Or no, I get six for 20. And a pocket. And a pocket on the front. Came out really good. I like it. I like it too. Now we made a, we made some for our friends. We have some. Um, My dad likes the ones with the pockets. Yeah, we made, we made one for her mom and dad. Made I a made couple my mom a, a bathing, bathing suit, suit cover. cover. Yeah. I have pictures, so maybe at some point <laughs> we'll insert them, but I already gave it to her, so. Here's another bleach dye here. You guys saw this one. This is where you sprayed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you kind of fixed it for me. Kind of. I don't really Flip know what around. I'm doing yet. Now, we got the, the tie-dye kits from... Um, uh, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And they were like 30 bucks. We got them half off. We got a cup, a few of them. I think two or three of them. Yeah. And you can buy bottles... I mean, you could get about, if you do them like we did, you could do about eight or ten uh, pieces of clothing with one kit. The, the bottles are little. This is one you guys saw yesterday, too. I like this one turned out real nice, too. Again, this is just a, a Walmart uh, pocket. It's all from the same pack. Yeah, pocketed T-shirt. Flip it over. That's the front. And here's the back. It looks like, like one of those lionfish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. It turned out good. I'm real happy with These how it turned fun. out. And then I got um, fabric paint too. So if there's any parts that we want to make different colors. Yeah. But we haven't played with that we yet. We have so. neon paint too. Yeah. And glitter. And glitter. This is from uh, Goodwill. Right. Oh, no, no, no. This is a Walmart shirt. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's from Walmart. This one here is... And this is an old one. Party, no sleep, repeat. Yeah, this is an old shirt. Because it has a little... But it has a distressed look now. Yeah. <laughs> and this shirt's old. This shirt's probably five years old. I, I bought it, wore it like once, and then forgot about it. And then we were looking for stuff to tie-dye, and I found a whole this bunch of shirts. This is down in the laundry. Yeah. Turned out great. Yeah. That's like orange creamsicle. Yeah. This... What is this thing like Walmart, Walmart, Walmart? We just had a bunch of Walmart shirts. I like this one. Yeah, this one was cool too. This is my- You can wear this on 4th of July. Yeah. This is my bleach dye Superman shirt. This is- Maybe this isn't Walmart. No, I don't think, I don't know. I don't remember. This might be like Burlington or Maybe. Marshalls or something. Flip it like around. That. What's the back look like? Oh, it's got a swirl. Sweet. I think this is the first one I bleached. Could have been. Cause I think you did this one like three times because it was hard to bleach. Yeah. If it's not 100% cotton, forget about it. It just, it doesn't work out the way no, you want it, it to. it won't work out at all. Because I had cool two other shirts I did that didn't turn out Yeah. At all. This is another bleach dye, but this one came out really cool. And this is from Goodwill. Yeah. This is the train shirt. Yeah, this one turned out good. 
All right, there's the front. It says something on the back, doesn't it? Engine yard. Engine yard, yeah, I thought so. And that's a bleach dye. Cool shirt. Here's and then here's a bunch of tie dyes here. Another Walmart t-shirt. That's nice. It is. It looks like a shrimp in the middle. Just a regular George Walmart shirt. These are your favorite. These are so soft. They're really comfortable too. Yeah. That turned out real nice. Actually, it turned out real nice. The tie-dye ones you did turned out better than mine. Now here comes a really quirky one here. This one looks like it. <laughs> Like a skeleton in the background. <laughs> Looks like a spine, doesn't it? And like the colon down here. Like this is a really... The pelvic bone. Pelvic bone, yeah. This is a really weird one. This is one that got soaked in black. Yeah. We still got to work Flip with the black over. a little bit. because. Well, is... you got to watch because the black overcomes everything. everything. Like you put colors down and as soon as you... Check this out right here. That's, that's different. As soon as you dip it in the black dye... That looks like an airplane. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it does. I like that one a lot. Though. That looks like an alien. And then you got to coordinate your. Yeah, it does. Check that out. You got to coordinate your colors too. Like if we would have put red in that, that may not have looked so good. No. You know, rather than using all of our darker colors, but we're gonna try to start using the black a little more. What you do is after you you get it tie dyed and everything's done on it, then you just you roll it up and sit one side of it in black after the shirt's all folded up, and then when you unfold it, the black had went to all different corners of the shirt oh, that's a good this one, one was using the rest of the dye that was left in the bottles yeah I remember that no that's this one mm -hmm. that's this one it's this one because we still had all the colors left but we only had a little bit of them left okay so that's what happened on this one I like this one I like this one I too. like where the red's at up top this is from it not getting shaken up enough <laughs> happens what's the back of it look like whatever <laughs> I, I like still them. like it. I don't care. This looks like an upside down butterfly right here. Yeah. No, looks like a tarantula a lobster or a tarantula. Weird. Once again, I see what I want to see. Right. And then the bottom, this looks like all kind of different people down here. Look at that. Mickey Mouse. Look, the yeah. ears and then the That's face. Weird, huh? This next one really looks good because you're going to see like an eagle on it in a minute. It looks okay. I got I see some things, but whatever. This reminds me of an eagle. Yeah. And again, another just Walmart t-shirt. Now this was one we sat in the black and it was all rolled up. And as you can see, we have like the black thing that goes all the way around it. <laughs> Turned out really cool. Oh, hold on, put that back here for a minute. Look at this. And then this, like, that's so weird. And this, looks, looks, like, like this a, looks like a totem pole. This looks like a death's head moth. Pine tree. Pine tree. Leaves. Right there. Palm tree. Yeah. Oh, my. That turned out weird. What's the back look like? Weird. Spooky. This looks like a, a chicken or an ostrich. See the head right up yeah. there and the butt? Oh, that's good. That's kooky. Once again, <laughs> see which one is the Yeah, it's all on what you interpret. It's art. Last one. This last one? Yeah. Now everybody's gonna say, what's that look like? Butterfly. Butterfly. Ooh, butterfly with with uh, uh crab pinchers on it. Yeah. <laughs> Eyes, mouth, or nose, mouth. It's... Mickey Mickey Mouse. Look, boom, ear, ear, and it's and it's it looks like a puppy. With a sweater on. Oh, the girls are getting... We'll hold see. on, hold on, hold on. That looks like a puppy with a sweater on. Yeah, it does. That is too cool. Do you see what I'm looking at? Come look in the phone. Right here. Yeah. This is the ears. Yep. Eyes. Little cheeks. Yep. Here's the sweater. It was a little necklace on. Look. Yep. The little black things on the sweater. Oh, that is too cool. That is too cool. The girls are going to the puppy parlor tomorrow yeah. to get a day of beauty. Well... Put pictures of them on so you guys can see them. Neither one of them are very happy. No, they know where they're going to. So. This looks like a Christmas stocking kind of. It does. Or, if you look at it this way, looks like a manatee. 
it's a Ted yep. eye face. It's a little flipper. It's fat little body. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. It does look like that. Kind of chilling with yep. its legs up. And it's still bright outside, as you can see. It's overcast today. So, you know. And it's like 8 o'clock at night, yeah. isn't it? Just wanted to show you guys what we've been up to. You know, just kind of messing around. Um, we got some more stuff today. Yeah, we got a bunch more today we're going to do. Uh, different styles, bleach and, and more tie-dye. Well, bleach first because we need to get more tie-dye kits. Yeah. They were out of them, so. So let us know what you think in the comments. Like I said, I know it's different from what we normally do, but we figured we'd try to be a little more constructive with our time. And, uh, I mean, all we do is when we scratch darn it anyways this way we at least win something right yeah plus we're repurposing <laughs> clothes right and we've been doing it for other people too like my buddy we did a shirt for him a shirt for her mom a shirt for her dad we have a couple um people that follow us on our our uh, scratch channel we're going to make them a couple shirts so we're probably going to raffle some shirts off too as we hit some um, milestones, milestones in our subscribers. But you'll still get a ticket. Right, you'll still get a ticket, but we'll probably toss a shirt in too. Just in case, unfortunately, if your ticket. And it'll be a brand new shirt. It won't be one of my old t-shirts. Oh, no. We'll go get brand. Well, because we'll ask for your sign. Yeah. So let us know what you think. Um, but remember, we're not professionals, so we right. can't do anything fancy. This is just two people that were stuck at home and figured we'd try to have some fun and uh, see what people thought about it. You got a lot more it. shirts than me. I do. I just, I didn't want to say nothing, but I ended up with more clothes than you. Well, that's okay, because you need me stuff. That just means that I have more crap laying around than you did. Well, all my stuff's in storage. Yeah. So, hey, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And, and let uh, us know what your favorite one. Yeah. Boy, boy thing and girl thing. Yeah, let us know. We're definitely interested. Um, we'll be dropping some more videos online uh, with, scr with scratch tickets. Um, we haven't been doing too many. We've been kind of tied up with this stuff here. But and we're we're gonna go look at houses. Right. We're so. heading down to Florida here shortly, and we're gonna look at some houses. So we need down to there. save some money. Right. So let us know. We value your opinion, um, and we'll see you on our next time. And if just because this is a boy shirt, by the way, this is now my new night shirt. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already, and you and you don't mind, if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, we'd love to have you at at our. Um, and our little scratch family here. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be doing other stuff too. We're going to be doing some hiking, um, all kind of different things. It's well, not we'll going to be at the beach soon. So. Right. I'm going to be putting a ton of beach videos on. It's not going to be just scratch tickets, even though I know most of you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, shut up and scratch tickets. But we want to let you know we're just more than just scratching. scratching. So if you have any ideas on stuff you want us to do other than shutting up and scratching, let us know. But if you're nice about it, maybe we'll <laughs> shut up and scratch on our adventure. Yeah. Oh, we're definitely going to do that. So on the way down to Florida. Maybe on the way back because my dad and mom are following us. Well, it depends. If they don't follow us, we'll scratch on the way down and the way back. Because we're driving. Right. If they do follow us, it'll be on the way back because her dad can't stop every mile like I would do. I would stop and get a $20 ticket at every store. Well, he's ill. So. Yeah. So we've told you guys. It'll that. be one or the other. But we're taking the, obviously taking the girls with us, so you'll be seeing lots of videos of the pups at the and, beach. And one dog's good in the car, and one dog yeah. is a little nervous. Can you tell us which one? Yeah, let us know which dog you think is the nervous, the nervous <laughs> one. So, anyways, we took up enough of your time. Hey, thanks for coming by. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, it really helps out the channel. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and leave a comment. We definitely want to know your thoughts. All right, thanks everybody, and we'll see you on our next one. Don't forget to wash your hands, social distance, take care of one another. Our thoughts and prayers are with you guys as always. Have a great evening. Happy scratching. Happy scratching. Or tie dyeing. Happy tie dyeing. And if you've done any tie dyeing, our email is scratchingforcash at gmail.com. Send us a picture, and we'll include it in one of our videos. And, and if you want us to. If you want us to, and we'll, we'll put it out there. Um, or if you hit a big ticket, send us a picture of your big winner and we'll, um, we'll include it in one of our videos. No problem. All right. We'll see you on our next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.